Hello, this is Craig McFeeders, author of Luck Grib. This will be a quick video showing off Luck Grib on the Mac. Luck Grib is also available on iPhone and iPad. This will be a Mac demonstration. Let's just kind of dive in. There will be more videos which kind of provide more information later. Here's a sample file surrounding New Zealand. Now, there's two main points I want to show off here. One is that this file contains seven days of forecast data. To see the forecast at different times, simply click in the timeline and drag the, uh, the indicator around. You can also use these icons to play backwards, to animate forwards, step forwards, and most commonly I use the keyboard. If you use the left arrow and right arrow, you step very quickly between the different forecast periods. So this has seven days of data and seeing that different data is very easy, very fast. The second point to see is that this file contains uh, four parameters. There's pressure, wind direction, wind speed, and the speed of wind gusts. There are seven ways of seeing this data, different combinations. Looking at all the data at the same time is a uh, is pretty confusing. Here's everything turned on for this file. Now, as you step through the forecast times, it's a pretty confusing image. So, what's most useful is finding combinations of these different of these seven different styles, which makes sense. Here's a combination which has only pressure. This combination has wind gust as an image, as well as wind gust contours, and so on. These combinations or, or draw or draw style presets simply turn on the different draw styles. So say you want to make your own. You like this one, wind gust as an image as well as pressure, but you want to add the arrows, the wind direction. So simply turn on direction, make your own style set. give it a name, and now it's available to you. Okay, so now we know how to change a forecast time to watch the forecast develop, as well as change the images to see different aspects of the forecast. Also note that as you move the cursor around the image, you can see the text forecast, the text values for all the parameters at that point, available in the top right hand corner. Let's do one more thing. Luckrib also has a meteogram available. A meteogram shows the forecast at a point over time. So let's move the cursor over to the Bay of Islands. So now we're seeing, let's just zoom in a little bit. So here's a forecast at this point through the entire forecast period, seven days. We see that the wind speed is building initially, and then it falls off uh, a, a couple of days into the forecast. Here, looks like a minimum wind speed, and then the forecast shows the wind building again in a few days. Uh, looks like the looks like the maximum wind gusts are here, 30 hours into the forecast with the wind gusts at this point oh, around 28 knots with a sustained winds around 21. So meteograms are a very quick way of seeing the forecast through the entire forecast for a point. Now let's try the South Island briefly. Yeah, as you would expect, the winds are stronger down here. Wind gusts are around 40. Uh, some around here looks like the maximum. Okay, I think that's the basics of how to view a weather forecast. Changing time, changing the way we see the images, reading off the values of a point, and using meteograms to view the forecast through time. Let's move on. Let's download some weather. So I'll zoom out the entire way, and what I want to do is download a global file. So I'll use the Grib Request Manager, 
I'll do a new request for data. Uh, initially use the GFS global model and I'll download the same parameters as we, as we saw in the previous file. Pressure, wind, speed and direction, and wind gusts. I'll accept all the defaults. Uh, forecast every three hours for seven days at a one degree resolution. Here comes the file. And here we go. So just as in the previous file, we have all the same controls. We can change the forecast over time. We can view this file in different ways. Whoops. And we can see the meteogram. Uh, something happening up here. Oh yeah. As you notice, the winds go from around Oh, nice trade wind conditions initially at this point from the, uh, the east, a little bit north of east, around 15 knots <laughs> to when this hurricane uh, rolls through. Wind gusts go up to 50. And, uh, well, it's not quite a hurricane anymore, it's a storm. Okay, let's take a look at what's happening uh, in other parts of the world. We'll zoom back out again. Let's go over to Europe, have a look over here. And again, we'll use the mediogram just to get a quick glimpse of what's happening uh, over by London. Looks like it's a uh, winds up and down over the next few days, up to around 25, gusting 25 towards the end of the forecast. Yep. Oh, some stronger winds happening up in the North Sea, as you would expect. Well, we're gusting up to... Uh, What's that? 45 or so. Okay, let's zoom back out. Let's go over to the Pacific and uh, download some more weather. So what I want to do is get a higher resolution image. Uh, so far the download, the last download was a, a download of weather for the entire visible region. This time what I'll do is I'll pick a region. Let's cover Hawaii up to around Seattle. And what I'll do is download weather for this area. New request. I'll do GFS one more time. Uh, what I'll do is add rain this time. And I want to do the full resolution, a quarter of a degree. Let's download that. There's the file. We'll zoom in. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at the rain. Yeah, some rain. Zoom out. Okay, so say you want to go sailing in San Francisco, which is over here. Let's take a quick look at the mediogram for this area. Uh, let's look at the Golden Gate area, just outside. Looks like there's a little bit of rain in the forecast for a couple of days from now. Uh, this red line shows you where the current time of day is. The blue line shows you the uh, the forecast time. So yeah, there's some rain, not very much. The forecast is like oh, 1.1 millimeter, <laughs> nothing to worry about. But what I want to do now is this file is a, a GFS global file. Uh, Luck Group comes with a, a wide variety of regional files. So what I want to do is download a regional file for this area. So. Let's do something like that. We'll do a new a new group request. And this time, rather than doing global, I'll do a regional. There's a lot of regional files, and choosing the proper regional file will take some practice. And there'll be a video which describes that in more detail later. For now, I'll do a 3-kilometer NAM. And I'll do pressure, wind speed, wind gust, oh, a lot of rain. Let's do radar as well. Download this at a full resolution, three kilometers. Uh, we'll do every hour for two and a half days. Okay, here we go. So let's compare this file to the previous GFS. This is the GFS file at a quarter degree resolution. And this is the uh, the NAM high resolution file I just downloaded. 
uh, clearly these two forecasts are different. The GFS is not showing very much wind through the Golden Gate, whereas the NAM is showing. And what's probably happening is that the GFS file just doesn't have enough resolution. It doesn't have enough information in the model to represent what's happening at that point. So clearly high resolution models are very useful when they're close to land, or close to any kind of feature of land feature. So again, let's look at the mediagram for this point, just for fun. Come in, see the Golden Gate. Okay, so far we've shown the Pacific, New Zealand. What I want to do now is show some of Europe. So let's zoom out of this file, go over to Europe somewhere. Where should we go? Well, we have to do Gibraltar. We'll zoom in here and see what's happening. Say I wanted to sail, sail through Gibraltar at some point in the future. So we'll download a file, a weather file, a regional file uh, for this area. So again, we'll do a new request, uh, go down to the regional area, and this time I'll choose a, a European regional model. Uh, Icon is a model that's made in Germany by the DD, DD, DWD. Uh, let's use that one. So we'll download wind pressure. Uh, what else will we do? That's good enough for now. And we'll download the full resolution. It's 0 0.06, which is uh, four times greater than the GFS file uh, over five days. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look. So here's what's happening right now. Ooh, look at that. Nice. Nice little uh, burst of wind through this area. Uh, let's have a look at the media ground. That might be interesting. Oh yeah, okay, so the wind is going to fall off 36 hours into the forecast. Yeah, there it is. So at this point, it looks like the wind is <laughs> too little to sail. Uh, over here, the wind is pretty strong. Uh, the text is showing, oh, only 16 knots. That's nothing. And if you're sailing from the Mediterranean out into the Atlantic, the wind's going to be behind you. That's pretty beautiful. So we could do one last test here. Say you did, say you did want to do that. You want to sail from the Med through Gibraltar into the Atlantic. One last check you might want to look at is uh, what are the waves going to be like. So let's download a wave forecast for this area. So we'll do one more download, new request. And we'll do a regional model, uh, an ocean model. Uh, there's two wave models available. I'll choose the German one again. Uh, this time I'll do wind, uh, the combined wind and swell. Uh, that's fine. I'll come back and refine that later. Uh, I'll do maximum resolution again, three nautical miles, uh, using all the defaults for the forecast length. And here we go. Okay, let's take a look at the waves. So we'll change the uh, the images to uh, sh show waves and wave site. So the wave direction is a uh, shows the the arrow is showing wave direction, and uh, the text is showing the height. So we have a five five and a half foot uh, combined wind wave and swell at this point, uh, which is in the same direction as the uh, wind, which is perfect. Uh, so yeah, if you if you happen to be sailing through this area right now, uh, that would be really nice. Uh, so this is showing feet, the height of the waves and feet. You can also change this. You can change the units however you want. Uh, so if you want to change this to be meters, uh, you want to change the knots, sorry, the speed to whatever you want, miles per hour, kilometers. Uh, you have control over that. So at this point it was a uh, five and a half feet. Now the show is 1.5 meters. That's fine. Okay, let's zoom out again. Let's do one last thing, and we'll call it quits for this video. Uh, let's have a look at the Gulf Stream. So uh, we've seen weather models, uh, wave models, and this is the last style. Sorry, not the last, but one of it's one more style of model, uh, which would be a current model. So I'll download uh, 
there's a, a couple of different current models and Luckrib. I'll use the global one. Uh, it's called RTOFS. I'll do new request. And in the global area, open up the ocean area, choose RTOFS, the current model, and I'll download current and water temperature. Uh, what I want is all the resolution available. Uh, that's all fine. Okay, there's the file. So yeah, look at that. There's the Gulf Stream. Beautiful. Uh, it changes slowly, but uh, yeah. At this point, the current is running at three knots heading north. So if you're heading across this, you definitely want to know what's happening with the Gulf Stream. Heading south, you, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be in this area. Here's the temperature of the water. So water temperature also shows where the Gulf Stream is, or it's an indi indicator of where the Gulf Stream is. Temperature is nice because the boat can measure temperature very easily. So if you're heading through this area, the forecast may show you the current. Uh, but if you know what the temperature is forecast as well, and the temperature agrees with what you're seeing, then you have more confidence in what the forecast is showing for current. I think that's going to be it. So there'll be a few more videos to follow, but uh, yeah, this is Luckrib. Luckrib now comes with, comes with a 14-day free trial, so if you like what you see, just download the app, start the free trial, and uh, yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. Thanks.